PMI has been at the forefront of the battle for malaria control in, in Africa. The purpose of doing IRS is to reduce the mosquito population and this could have a potential impact in the reduction of malaria transmission. Our vision is to eliminate the disease malaria. More than 90% now is in sub-Saharan Africa and this involves vector control, are fighting against the mosquitoes. Entomology is the key. As part of uh, vector surveillance, we have to collect mosquitoes so that we can study them and understand them. There are various methods, pyrethrum spray catch, human landing catch, we have the CDC light trap collections, and more recently we have also the Prococap aspirator collection. We'll have data on the species composition about their behavior, whether they are biting indoor or outdoor, estimate how they are really susceptible to insecticides being sprayed and how long that uh, insecticide can work in a given area. This can give us an indication of the proportion which are positive for malaria and we can even compare where there's no vector control versus the site where there's vector control so that we can determine the impact of the strategy. And whatever we do is evidence-based. There is very little skills in entomology in most of these malaria programs in Africa. It's really very important to build capacity to the level that can bring impact. PMI conducted a capacity building on entomological monitoring from about 18 countries in Africa, from national malaria control programs, from the project staff and also other government and institutions. With this kind of training, we're beginning to build that capacity. The AIS project has enabled us to collect very critical baseline data in areas that were formerly not covered by any group. We need to do entomology so that we know how to control mosquitoes through the human learning cache, through the CDC light traps. From that information, we know their density, we know the behavior of the species. We are quite in a very good position to evaluate the effectiveness of the spraying when it is done finally. PMI introduced real-time data capturing. People record the events in the field during spraying. This can be uploaded and be shared across various offices. PMI through indoor residual spraying protected millions of people in different parts of Africa from malaria, especially for children under five and pregnant mothers. With PMI coming in, more people have been trained, more people have been hired, so we are more on board working on the same subject in malaria and tomology now. My vision is a malaria-free world. People were celebrating there's no polio. That would be a big achievement and it's possible to do that.